Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, my name is SPC Red Irish, and today we're going to be getting into some new fun building stuff. So last time we met, uh, we finished up our vault room and our Quetzal parking area. We went ahead and got a Quetzal platform saddle made up. Uh, and we had a little snafu though, so... You guys didn't get to see the process of, of getting the Quetzal platform saddle. We're going to build a base on here. I just haven't decided what we're going to do yet. Um, but I went to, to record, and because of the way I have to do my recording, I have to stream it onto Twitch, download that footage, and then use that footage. So the quality isn't always the greatest. And I am at the whim of if Twitch wants to actually you know, record my footage. So I played the other day for, I don't know, two hours, found a whole bunch of stuff, did a whole bunch of things, thought I had a bunch of recording, uh, and then I decided that um, I was going to stop for the night, and then I went and looked, and I didn't have any footage. So I apologize for that. You know, that's the price we pay without having a capture card to directly record all of our stuff. However, I do want to take a moment and show you what we did uh, earlier, so the barn, as you can see, is a little changed. Uh, we put some platforms up with some ramps to put all of our dinosaurs on. A uh, couple different reasons for this. One, I think it kind of looks a little better. It, it puts everybody up and out of the way. Uh, and then uh, two, hopefully the ramps will allow me to more easily pick up um, eggs and poop as they come out uh, because I'm going to... What we're going to get into today is the greenhouse. So I need all the poop I can get so that I can make fertilizer. So that's going to be cool. Uh, and then we've got some guys over here as well. And then the big thing that we did last uh, time that didn't get recorded was we went out and we tamed a Bronto. That's right. First Bronto for me I've ever had. Very excited to get him. Um, he's a level 52. Uh, I haven't named him yet, uh, but you can see this, I was, one of the things I commented on was the saddle is huge, like, absolutely ridiculously huge, like, I don't understand why the saddle in which I sit on needs to be so big, like, like I get that the dinosaur is big, but damn, like, ridiculous. So this guy's got um, pretty decent stats, 17,000 uh, health. He's still boosting his health since last time. Um, 525 melee damage, and weight is just over, just about 1,100. Um, so he's not, you know, he doesn't have the most weight, but um, I wanted him because I needed to collect berries, uh, because I wanted to go out and do some more taming, which I haven't gotten to. I was going to do uh, as a continuation to the the last episode, but with um, with the fact that it not recording, I was a little um, to say it mildly, I was a little disappointed, and uh, so I've I've decided to move on, and we're gonna work on something else. So we're gonna work on the greenhouse today. So I already came in here, and I was thinking, okay, where do I want the greenhouse? Where it grows vegetables, it grows berries. So where does it need to be in relation to the kitchen? Probably right next to it. So. What I did was I blew out this wall, and I think that I'm going to come out here for my walkway and come out right over here. So I think I'm going to have it come around, and then the building's actually going to be over here. It doesn't really need to be that big um, because the crop plots really aren't that big. Each crop plot takes, like, large crop plot takes up about one spot. And I'm only going to put in, I think, eight crop plots. So I only need, like, a 4 by 2 uh, Maybe I could do, so I can have walking room down the middle, maybe I'll do a 4 by 3 So 12 foundations. Uh, so I've gone ahead and I made up some foundations here. I've got a few ceilings, some stone pillars. I've got my railings and everything here. So let's go ahead and get ourselves situated. I am going to make some more pillars and more some more ceilings. Because I'm only gonna do I'm gonna do a stone floor. I'm not gonna do a uh, glass floor. Because when you're looking at the greenhouse effectiveness, the floor has no impact on the effectiveness. It is just the ceilings and the wall. Uh, yeah, ceilings and the walls. 
I had to move my light, so I'm gonna put a new light out here. How about like right, right, center? Uh, victory is mine. I will take it. Ah, turn it on. Turn it on. Boom. All right, because it was like right here, and it was just gonna. It was blocked, so I moved it. All right, so let's see here. We've got some stone ceilings, some stone pillars. Let's go ahead and put our foundations in our B slot. So let's see. Great, I can build right there. And then we're going to come right here, and we're going to go this way. And, of course, now it's going to be nighttime. So what I'm going to do while it's nighttime is I'm going to go and make up a whole bunch more lag uh, ceilings, pillars, and whatnot that I'm going to need. Uh, because I actually, I'm going to go out one more, I think, because I want to be able to go to that walkway over there. Uh, on the far side, so I need to go one more, and then I'm gonna go that way. So I'm gonna go make up that stuff, and then oh, almost fell off. I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I've done a little bit of work here. This is probably only about uh, I don't know five or ten minutes worth of work. I have started putting down some foundation, uh, some uh, floors, some ceilings, and then I also put out the walkway here. Uh, as I was saying, I was going to. I used what I had for the stone railings and the wood railings uh, to just connect here, and I've run out. Uh, I have also, underneath, as our f support foundations, we have actual foundations over here, all the way across to here. And then there's a gap here because nothing fits right there. And then it continues right back over here. That supports our walkway above. Underneath here we have some a row of foundations. And I was going to do more foundations, but I ran out. I just happen to have some pillars and some ceilings with me. So this will allow me to have one, two, and then you can go over one more, three. So right there. So I'll have three, and I'm going to go three by four. Oh, drowning over here. Drowning. Uh, three by four, maybe three by five, or yeah, maybe, because I want to be able to put the composting bins in there as well. I think that's going to be the best uh, spot for them. Uh, but to be honest, uh, I'm not sure. I may actually end up making this much bigger, maybe four by five, uh, still with the same amount of uh, crop plots, only eight crop plots, but. Uh, just have a bigger workspace, a bigger area to to, to um, put stuff down. Bring in a couple of um, what do they call them? The film film ah, jeez, Louise. <laughs> Words. Uh, what the heck is that thing called? Philomena. Uh, this thing. Fiomia. Jeez, Louise. Words is hard. Um. However, I have run out of stone, and I'm almost out of wood, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of just cut for a second here, go gather up a whole bunch of materials, and then I'll bring you right back in. Uh, so I already put the first row of stone pillars down here as I came in because I didn't want to, like, take this corner too quick and be like, oh, I'm in the water. Let's start that over again. So I already know it's five that way. How many did we go this way? One, two, three... Four, five, six, six, oops, that was useless, six, six, and six. So five by six, that is going to be more than enough space for our greenhouse. We're going to put it right here. Uh, this is actually going to be a pretty small building comparatively. Um, actually, let me make sure that five by six is actually going to work for... Um, uh, the roof, because I wanted, I guess it'll be two and then a flat and then two slopes back down. So it'll look a lot like this building over here with a slope, a flat, and a slope. It'll just be on a larger scale right here. It's going to be pretty basic, straight up greenhouse, nothing fancy. I just want something, I kind of want something that's a little, you know, traditional looking. Um, but we'll see. And I'm a little curious as to see how the these railings, if they'll impact or impede the glass wall that needs to go right there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to throw on the rest of these wooden railings while I'm here. Because our foundation, our floor is done. Wooden railing, 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 railing. 
Uh, so we don't need any of the materials we currently have. Uh, we can go ahead and put all that stuff away. Let's run back over here. I like our... I, I, I don't know. I love these little um, walkways. Oh, I really... I wonder if I should build a walkway between here. Hmm. Not right now. Not right now. All right, let's go ahead and we'll put stone railings, stone pillars, wooden railings, stone ceilings, stone foundations, all back in there. Oh, I got some wooden ceilings I made. I just had some extra material that was weighing me down. I used it up. Let's go ahead and dump all this stuff in here, and we'll go over to the smithy in just a second and make up some glass greenhouse stuff. All right, guys, welcome back. So I have gone, and I think I've made up pretty much everything I need. I got 27 walls, greenhouse walls. I got 13 sloped roofs. I got seven regular roofs. I got some irrigation pipes. I got an irrigation tap. Um, I went around and started picking up some poop. You know, uh, I grabbed the... I have a recipe or a blueprint excuse me for a medium crop plot so we've got that uh, so I'll need to build those I haven't built those yet I wanted to start with the walls so let's go ahead and let's start with probably what's going to be the most difficult spot right yeah how do I know right there so oh that's weird alright well as they say for science Oh, it replaces it. Interesting. Now the real question is, is what wall is it on? What? Um, I should say, what ceiling is it on? Is it on this tile? Or is it on that tile? I think it's on that tile. Which means, so that means that the... Alright, so let's just go ahead and do this. Let's demolish this. And we'll demolish this. Let's put that there. Aha! See the gap? Do you see it? Ah! That means you're on the wrong one. Adios, amigo. I do have to say, they picked a pretty cool sound for breaking the breaking glass, like that just a like you know if you ever drop like a thin pane of glass on the ground it <laughs> that, they got it pretty right I, I'm pretty impressed there we go all right uh, oh I didn't make a door so I'm cool uh, let's see here okay we'll put that there we'll put that there there all right coming around I'm gonna have to make a door f for us to get in obviously Requires nearby foundation. 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 Oh. Well, isn't that a pooper? <laughs> Alright, cool. So, I'm going to have to go get the foundations. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Yes. 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 Victory is mine! <laughs> I shall have it. Alright, great. <laughs> And that, and there, and there, awesome. And I need one there. Oh, I didn't make any slant ones. Durr. Durr, durr, durr. And did I put that? I put it, uh, yeah, that's what I needed. There, right? And there. And there. Yes. That makes sense, right? Because it'll be slant, slant. Flat, slant, slant, flat. Okay, great. And... Ah! Hey. I didn't make enough. Because I'm super awesome. So Alright, so I've got the door. Let's put the door in. Uh, let's make sure it lines up. With the other door... F with the other frames. Come on. See how it's off? There it is. Bam! And just because... Let's go ahead and grab the door use item how about we back back out I think my controller's dying alright so we've got the door BAM 
I'm gonna open it in so that I, in case I need to get back out. All right, let's fill our spot here with I don't know. We'll just do this guy right here. All right, so let's finish putting these up. One, two, three. Wow, my B button is just not working. There we go. Holy moly, macaroni. There and there. There. And there. Slow and steady there. Slow and steady there. Getting ahead of myself. That. Oh, let's go ahead and switch over our sloped roofs for our ceilings. Alright, that. There. There, there, and there. Ha ha! Alright, so let's see. We need sloped, sloped, sloped. Why do I have this sinking feeling I did not? I only need them. <laughs> I only made enough for one... Oh, I forgot how big I made this thing. So, <laughs> if I had made this at, at the size of three, like I was originally going to, three wide, this would have been perfect, because it would have been two rows. But now I've needed four rows worth of it. And I'm super cool, and only made enough for half. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to go back and make more. But, that's alright. I have the materials. It's See, I told you I was going to forget something. I told you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to finish putting up this ceiling and I'll bring you back in. <laughs> See you in a minute, guys. Alright, guys, so I have put in some irrigation. Now, hopefully, they're on top of the roof. Uh, as you can see, they kind of stick up above. I'm kind of hoping that that is just like an aesthetic kind of mishap and they're actually... Uh, it will irrigate underneath here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put down a couple of crop plots and see if they say irrigated. Uh, if they don't, then we're going to have to uh, take, because I used the metal, uh, the, the metal spigots, because um, I thought they might look better, but with them up on top of the roof like that, they may not, that may not actually be best. Uh, I may have to shift to the stone ones that pours out the sides instead of the top. So, we'll see. Uh, let's put down our first crop plot here. So I'm a little... Okay, so I've got eight crop plots. And I was planning on doing eight different items. At least to start. So, and I've got space to do woo, so much more, right? So much more. So I'm just going to go ahead and start right here. I'm going to actually put these crop plots... Um, like every other so let's see here not irrigated <laughs> alright guys so welcome back so I think one of the issues was the fountain was too high so you see the one that's still up there I haven't taken down um, it it appears to be pouring water on the inside however it was not irrigating the plots below it I think it was too high uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but when I when I put a cross pipe here and put this spout and this spout in, all of my crop plots got irrigated. So I, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's working uh, at, at this standard right here. So I'm just going to keep it. It's nowhere near as pretty as it was going to be if it was all up out there and I, whatever. It is what it is, right? So, um, we've got our eight crop plots down, and we've got some extra space over here. So, I'm going to go ahead and put in my uh, composting bin right here. Uh, I actually may put a whole bunch of them in, um, and uh, we'll see how that goes for getting fertilizer. All right, welcome back, guys. So, I've put in a few of these composting bins. And uh, here's the last one for now. I love the fact that, like, you've got the outline there, but if you notice the little black dots swirling around everywhere, uh, that is to represent black flies. Um, I don't know. I just think it's a very, very interesting, uh, like, 
detail that they put into the game. Uh, very neat. Very neat indeed. And then we've got some space over here. I can go ahead and put a storage bin uh, to store all the fertilizer that we make in there. Alright guys, so welcome back. So, here we have... I have added another row of uh, crop plots because I realized I needed two crop plots for each of the main crops and I wanted crop plots for narco berries. So that's why we have the ones in the middle for narco berries. So let's go ahead and I've gathered up, I have citronel seeds, savo root, long grass, rock carrot, and I have fertilizer for every one of them. So I'll put that. And a fertilizer, seeded, fertilized, fertilizer, and savo root. Did I do, what did I do over here? Citronel, savo root. Alright, so irrigated, fertilized, seeded, seedling, irrigated, fertilized. We're good to go there. Irrigated seedling, good to go there. Uh, irrigated, irrigated. All right, and then let's do our narco berries. Seeded. All right, great. Oh look, they're even. I think are they coming in? Yeah. Seedling, seedling, seedling. Great. Those are seedlings. Nice. Everything's starting to come in nicely. The only thing we're waiting on here is the... What is right here? Rock carrot. These are going to come up underground. Carrots. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this episode. We're pretty much out of time. We've run pretty long. I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the new greenhouse build. Let these guys grow and then we're going to have all sorts of vegetables that we need. So... Till next time guys, I'm SPC Red Irish. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along for more fun videos. Till next time, take it easy. See you later.